Just a little bit of info here before I get in the video on uh, uh, installing the timing chain on a 351 modified vintage Ford truck. Uh, I want to just let everybody know that if you go down in the description of this video and some of my popular videos and probably throughout my channel, I'll be adding on that uh, Cub Cadet uh, has uh, become one of my affiliate links. It'll take you to this page here, and if you uh, you know have any need for uh, anything from Cub Cadet, they offer some very awesome products. We're getting into uh, you know snow time, uh, you know in my area especially, and I'm pretty much part of most part of the country. Uh, and they have some great information here. Uh, you can check it all out there, and if you do a purchase on their uh, website that will help support the GMEC channel. So uh, if you could do that, I greatly appreciate it. And, uh, you know, check it out. Uh, there's a bunch of discounts here. Uh, I, you know, they just, uh, if I, you know, they support me by me sending you here. Uh, discounts available throughout. Uh, different codes and stuff throughout different things offer financing if you're into that and so on and so forth so just want to pass this on if you're in the market especially now for a snowblower parts what have you you can see on there you apologize for using my camera for this uh, but uh, you know just want to bring it up all kinds of stuff available I do believe they even have an option where if you purchase a say a snowblower online they will deliver it to your door uh, might be a good option for your case, or it'll send you to a, a local Cub Cadet dealer in your area. So, thought I'd let you check that out. If uh, you uh, support that, it'll greatly appreciate it, because uh, that will help support the GMAC channel. So, on with the video. Alright, here's uh, a video on uh, this project here with uh, the old uh, red truck. Uh Replacing a time and chain in a vintage vintage Ford truck 351M. Uh, this is also applies to 400. It may also apply to others. So, basic bottom line is gonna be a real short video. I've uh, been very busy. Apologize and get back to this sooner. Um, so what you want to do is basically put this engine up on top dead center. You pull out the number one spark plug. Uh, forgive me with space and everything going on. <laughs> It's kind of tight right now in my shop to do this, but I wanted to get this video out there. So uh, you want to pull your number one spark plug out. Make sure number one cylinder is up. You can also use the distributor if it's still in your engine in this case, especially if it's in the vehicle. And that will point in the direction on what's marked on your, dis your distributor cap. Uh, so, and then on top of that, you want, uh, with this, you want your two marks right here. This one and this one to be lined up okay and then now you're able to remove this timing chain and install your new one now you don't want this one here as you can see has plastic gears on it this timing chain does have 90,000 miles on it according to the odometer of the truck the problem is and why it needs to replace and it can fool you as you can see right there it's tight but when you check here look at the slop you do not want that so then you would just remove these bolts, take this out of the way. As soon as you remove this bolt, you're able to pull this apart. At this time right now, I'm not ready to do this, but I wanted to get this video out here to show you on how to do it. The final thing I want to show on this video is what I recommend, what timing chain to use. I've used stock ones. I will not go back to the plastic gear one because that's asking for trouble. And manufacturers do that from Ford. And they also do it uh, in the aftermarket world just to make the engine quieter. And in my opinion, all the, the engines that I have currently right now and the ones in the past and I've sold had this style of timing chain in it. Uh, so far, so good. Engine Tech has been a very good product for me. I am not affiliated with them at all, but I will endorse products that, that I think are of good quality. As you can see, uh, there's other manufacturers that offer this. This here, as you can see, I'll show the part number here in a second. This is called a roller timing chain. Uh, roller timing chains are some of the strongest chains ever made. They use them in all kinds of applications. So if we look here in the box, there's the part number in particular in this. And as you can see, that uh, 
Apparently, this gear is made here in the States. Uh, well, maybe that one's made in India. Who knows? But at this point here, uh, my green Ford has this timing chain in it from another manufacturer. And that engine now has like 30 or 40,000 miles on it with no trouble. Uh, those style timing chains and... and and uh, gears will get play in them rather quickly. I've had one fail in 10,000 miles that it got terrible play in it. So, but anyway, this is the timing chain that you want to use. You can go to gear timing and all that, but in my opinion, for the for the DI wire, this is the timing chain you want to use. Roller chain. This here was it. It I think it was 60 bucks. Don't quote me on it. Got it from RockAuto.com. They were the, the supplier, again, not affiliated with them, but uh, I will give credit where credit is due. And uh, to me, so far, with some of the other products I've used from Engine Tech, they seem to be pretty good. I even talked to them on the phone, and uh, very reputable company. So anyway, this is basically the video on how to replace the timing chain. Uh, if you last saw my last video in this series on where how to get to the engine and tear everything apart, uh, now is this is down to the wire here where you actually install it and uh, So but basically this is it for this video just showing you You know what you need to do to replace to remove that timing chain and install the new one uh, If you like the video hit there's a likes button subscribe and uh, Thanks for watching and remember keep on wrenching